High doses of vitamin D could help boost weight gain and brain development in severely malnourished children. That's according to a new study. The research was led by Queen Mary University of London with the University of the Punjab in Pakistan. Now, the findings could benefit 20 million children all around the world. And I'm pleased to say that Professor Adrian Martineau from Queen Mary University is one of the lead experts who worked on the study. He joins us now. Now, we know about the benefits of vitamin D, the so-called sunshine vitamin on bones, on muscle, but you found something very, very different about what else it can do. Absolutely. As you say, vitamin D is well known for its ability to prevent rickets, but we've also found that it has important effects on the immune system. Now, children who have severe acute malnutrition have a high degree of inflammation, but also their immune system is impaired, so they're susceptible to infections. From our other work, we know that vitamin D can actually suppress or dampen inflammation and help to fight infections. So we thought that giving a high supplement might benefit these children. Now, this is a very, very high supplement. Absolutely. We're talking about a dose that's 1,000 times higher than that recommended by the Department of Health for healthy children. So we're talking about using vitamin D as a medicine in children who are acutely unwell. And what, does, what impact does it have on brain development? Because you found something there too. Yes, we did. So we randomised 185 children, half received high-dose vitamin D, the other half received a placebo in addition to standard treatment. Uh, and we saw that uh, at the end of two months, 20% uh, of the children in the intervention arm had delayed development compared to 40% in the control arm. So the rate of uh, impaired development was about halved by the vitamin D treatment. Now it's important just to stress that these are children with severe acute malnutrition. This is not something that you would give to children who are maybe a little bit undernourished. No, the Department of Health here in the UK would recommend 400 units a day or 10 micrograms of vitamin D for a healthy child to stop them becoming deficient. We're giving 400,000 units, that's a thousand times higher, to acutely unwell children to help them recover from an illness. So now, it's a different situation. It's a completely different. In practical terms then, with 20 million children worldwide affected by severe acute malnutrition, how practically can your findings have an impact and benefit those 20 million children? Well, vitamin D uh, is very inexpensive and it's very easy to give. We gave the dose just as two mils of uh, vitamin D solution in olive oil. However, before this is rolled out, worldwide, one would need to reproduce the results in another clinical trial, uh, particularly in another setting. So for example, a study is needed in Africa as well as Asia. Also further research is needed with longer follow-up to see whether vitamin D might actually reduce the risk of dying and whether it might improve development long term. I see. So you'll continue to do those, those researches in other parts of the world because at the moment you were looking at Pakistan predominantly. That's right. These are promising results, but uh, they're the first results of their kind. And before they could be rolled out worldwide, one would need to do further trials to confirm them. Professor Martineau from Queen Mary University of London, thank you very much for sharing your findings. Thank you.